Hi, I'm Andre, and this is day 15 of my 30-day YouTube challenge. Today, I want to do one that I've been wanting to do for a long time, which is what happens when you make a paraglider really, really short? Let's find out. Okay, so I had a look online and it looks like the wiring diagram is fairly simple. It's uh, 3 to 1 or 4 to 1 and then straight into the melons. And all of the A's, B's and C's are the same. So I should be able to tap into that joint there. Effectively making a 7 meter or so high glider into a 3, 2 meter long? Oh, that's going to be... That's going to be nasty, Peter. Well, we'll see what happens. Okay, so this is already going wrong. Taking 4.7 meters off a glider that's only 7 meters tall is not going to work. Um, I'll show you. These are the A's on one of the sides, and this single length is the bottom of the A's and this is where the joint is so the rises would end up here which means I would only be this far away from the canopy it's never gonna work I'm gonna have to improvise I think what we're gonna do is take off the first length of the brakes which instead of 4.7 is 2.7 meters and then shorten all the other length all the other lines by 2.7 right the modification is done very crude i know let's test it Right, we're here, let's do it. It was uh, quite windy down where I was. And, um, and up here, it looks surprisingly light. It probably means we're in the rotor. <laughs> looks like everything's looking good. Let's uh, strap in and see what happens. Right, this is the tricky bit now well it inflates doesn't quite come up that's strange <laughs> oh 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 that's all right hey buddy hey hey right here we go Right, I think there's too much brake on it. So can we adjust this? I've adjusted the brake lens, I have a bit more brake on now. Let's try it again. Mini paraglider! Whoa! Whoa, fly, 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 fly! Okay, so it's more snappy. It's more snappy. Can't keep it up again. Come, guy, come on. <laughs> Feels so much closer. Well, it is. It is a lot closer. Yeah, I'm doing it, I'm doing it. I'm gonna fly. So that works better than expected. Um, comes up, it's just a bit slow, it wants to hang back, so either has too much brake, well, it had too much brake on our release, some of it, and now I think the Ds are still pulling it a bit. And that's a bit harder to adjust, so what I think I might do is I'll pull the speed bar in a little bit, somehow, uh, and go again. Right, both speed bars are pulled in about a quarter of the way or a third of the way, let's try again. very turbulent, it's not blowing from the other way. Wow, 
okay. It's really responsive to you. I don't think the uh, I don't think the speed virus fixed it. Still doesn't want to come up. Right, there isn't a lot of wind, but let's try to do a pretend launch. It really wants to fall back all the time. I'm gonna try to put even more speed bar on. This is a good, uh, this is a good half bar now. Wind has changed massively. It's now blowing the other way. Oh. So it hangs back, but if it gets to the critical point, it wants to overshoot. That worked. Take a breather and go again. Yes. I think I'm getting used to it. Very tiring to run upwind and uphill, but. This is the longest it's been. See how the rises pull you apart a lot more, obviously. Now I want to hang back. Super short glider. Woohoo! I can see the, I can almost touch the wingtips. Wow, that's the longest bit. <sighs> Makes me feel like if I had the right amount of wind, I could, it could stay up for a lot longer. So it's more about the conditions rather than the wing. <laughs> I'm done. Right, I think that's enough for one day. It's really hard running into wind and uphill with a randomly Ida trim paraglider. So what have we learned today? In roll and pitch seems to be pretty similar to what it was before, which is terrible, but pretty similar. But in yaw, it's a lot more sensitive and it switches around very quickly. So if we were flying this, I would expect, you know, very touchy kind of uh, flight characteristics when you turn it turns in straight away so <laughs> obviously not that I would ever fly this abomination but I quite like to try to find out the answers to these things like what what if we only had half a wing you know would that be possible to fly anyway thank you for watching uh, it's a blast to do these videos so if you want to see more don't forget to subscribe and uh, I'll see you tomorrow